What is up, everyone? Welcome to Merry NJ08 with maybe one of the biggest playthroughs of the year, definitely uh, so far. This is Bloodborne. This is my coverage of the FromSoft masterpiece known as Bloodborne. This has been getting huge, huge praise over the internet, which uh, I didn't expect anything less. This is an amazing, amazing company. Uh, Dark Souls, Demon Souls was absolutely an amazing game, an amazing experience. You get a lot of bang for your buck. You know, they're long, they're very hard, they're difficult. They're definitely, definitely involved games, and uh, I was highly, highly hoping that Bloodborne would live up to it, to Dark Souls, and so far from what I've seen on the internet, it really does. People are really enjoying this game. I've heard people say, it's their best game of all time. I've heard people say it blows Dark Souls away. I know it's definitely harder. As if that's imaginable. Um, I definitely can tell people are really happy now with their PlayStation 4 because of this game. That's awesome because, you know, in my personal opinion, I think they really needed that. You know, this this really, uh, this is really the, the gem I believe they were waiting for, you know, because, you know, the order was so-so with everyone. And uh, even with Infamous Second Son and a couple of the previous exclusives, so I think Bloodborne is going to be the real good one on the PS4, one to tell people to, to buy the system for, uh, in my opinion. Especially if this is, I mean, if this is your kind of game, if this is your genre. You know, if you if you absolutely hated Dark Souls or didn't enjoy it, you're most likely this isn't going to change your view. But if you were, if you love this D Demon Souls and Dark Souls series, I think you're going to really, really love Bloodborne. This is my coverage. This is going to be my playthrough. We're going to have a sneak peek of this, a couple parts. I'm not sure how long I'm going to play it for. I mean, I'm going to play it until I beat it, but I don't know how much I'm going to play on the channel. Um, I want to give you guys a little sneak peek of it. Uh, again, I apologize that this is not release day coverage, although Mary and Jay Wait isn't always about that. Uh, I was This actually happened to come out during the time that I was on the road back from Florida on a trip. And uh, it actually came out when I was on the road, and it was impossible for me to even pick it up at that point. And by the time I got home, I had to unpack. And it was crazy chaos, so I says, you know what, let me let me settle in, and uh, you know my viewers will know what's going on. I explained it to them; They're, they don't have a problem with that. You know, this this isn't always a day one coverage channel anyway. That's not why we cover games. We could go back weeks and months later and cover them. That's not a problem. And uh, so this is pretty good. So I'm not. This isn't bad timing. I'm only a few days after release, so not bad at all. And I know some of you probably already checked this game out, but you just want to see me play it and my reactions and uh, my commentary. I know people really enjoy that. As you can see, people are hyped for this game. I got some subscriber artwork that you're viewing now on your screen. Really cool. And, uh, oh, actually, I didn't switch it yet. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there we go. This is from the uh, some of the subs. Some of the subscribers are really, really pumped for my playthrough of this. They couldn't wait. So they got a head start here. I'll be having a couple pre-streams and a couple playthroughs of this, so you guys can keep sending in the viewer art. I am highly appreciative of it. It's really cool. I get a kick out of looking at these. I, It's actually cool because when I got home, um, in my email, I got quite a few subscriber art works for games that I'm going to be playing that I announced. Like I got, I got like three or four for Mortal Kombat X. I got a few for... Um, Borderlands for Dark Souls 2 because I'm going to cover that on the channel, the, the remastered version when it comes out. I got Resident Evil Revelations 2 subscriber art. I got Dying Light and Evolve because I am going to go back with my direct capture, my new setup, and check that out. I do have a new setup here. All new mics, uh, all new PVR, everything's all up to date, all new software. And uh, even this mic that I'm using now, everything's pretty much uh, all new. I'm all ready for the new year. And I was doing new game coverage when I was in Florida, but I didn't bring my direct capture equipment. So what I was doing was I was using Twitch. I was streaming a lot and um, archiving the footage from from uh, Twitch. So this is going to be night and day. This is going to be nice, good 1080p uh, resolution. I'm going to even up the resolution a little bit for this game. So uh, I am super, super excited. I'm super to be back. I'm super to be back doing what I love. Uh, these pre-streams, my podcasts, back with my live direct capture, and bringing you guys, you know, the best quality that I can, and with the newest games. We're going to go back and we're going to do some older games as well. Uh, we're going to go back and do some games that I did cover on stream, 
and do them, you know, properly, proper playthroughs. I just got the uh, Dead or Alive 5. We're going to cover a lot of that game. Uh, the Witcher 3 is going to be one of my biggest of the year. We're going to have re release day coverage of that. And uh should be pretty good. We should have a really, really good uh, playthrough here. I, I know people love me watching me play hard games like this because I rage and I flip out and I go nuts and they're probably just want to get a good laugh at me because I suck horribly. Uh, Dark Souls 2 I was an absolute crap at, so I'm sure you're going to get a good laugh and giggle on with this, but I think that's why a lot of people are, are you know, watching people play this. And uh, I'm definitely, I definitely fall in that, in that category. I will try my best, but to, look, to not look like a complete and utter ass. <laughs> but, but I can't wait. I, this is this is awesome. I've been, jeez, I since this was announced, I could not wait for this to come out. It seems like forever. It really did. I believe this did get delayed a couple times. So finally, it is in our hands. We are finally playing it now, and I'm, I'm more pumped now to play because I know it's been out already, and people are really enjoying it and excited for it. So. Uh, you know, I got a little bit of a heads up on it, and everybody on my Twitter's been trying to sp try not to spoil things to me because they know that I didn't play it because I've been traveling. And they're like, Sean, Sean, oh my God, you know, we we watched your Dark Souls two series. You were a trip and a half. You were you were hilarious. Wait till you play this. You you, you know you don't know what you're in for. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm sure. I guess we're gonna find out. I know it has a character creation too in the beginning, so we're gonna probably have to do that first. Uh, we're going to actually jump right to the game, right from this uh, pre-playthrough intro here. After you watch the viewer art, we're going to jump right into the game. I got everything set up already. Um, make sure I got all my screens here. This is literally the first time I've been in XSplit since I left in January. So I haven't... Yeah. Everything seems to be working good. Everything seems to be uh everything seems to be good. Um so yeah, that's pretty cool. I cannot wait to jump into this. I'm excited too. I got I'm excited that I got subscriber artwork from people for these upcoming games. That means that they're really uh, looking forward to me playing them. So that's really really cool. I know I've been um away for a while doing, you know, proper playthroughs so that's pretty cool. I am going to be continuing my Minecraft series. I also have a Dragon Age series. You definitely, if you haven't checked out the new channel update since I've been back to Jersey, you definitely want to check that out. I believe it's for March 26th, uh, yesterday, and uh, or whenever it was. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know the date, but um, I still have jet lag from the trip. <laughs> uh, you definitely want to check that out. And there is a unboxing for Bloodborne. You definitely want to check that out. I actually, um, it, it's one of those games that has the, um, you could change the cover. The slip comes out and you could flip it. I actually did that. I like doing that. I like changing up the cover art. It's pretty neat. And, uh, of course, you know, Batman, um, Batman got delayed again. It's only, I think it's only coming out like, uh, two or three weeks after. I think it's still coming out in June, but I think it's coming out in the end of June. So not, not bad. But I gotta tell you, I gotta be honest, Mortal Kombat X and The Witcher 3 and this game here was the three that I really was waiting for this year. The only other game that I really, really can't wait for is Zelda Wii U. I cannot wait for that. And um, those of you who know that you have been following me, I've been collecting the Amiibo figures. I got tons of them now. And uh, I just got the Gold Mario. I got, a, I got a few rare ones. I had everybody hunting them down for me. I've been doing trades on the internet. And uh, it's really gotten into a crazy thing. It's just a crazy, crazy thing, really. But they are fun. It is a hobby. They're fun to collect, but they're not easy to collect. You know, they've, they've made it extremely hard, up to the point where sometimes, you know, you, you want to give up. But if the damn things weren't so cool, you know, it's like, how come they just can't stockpile them? Like, I see these other countries, like, put up Twitter pictures, and they're like, we got aisles of them. I'm like, man, I wish we did. And they don't have exclusives. You know, they just have, like, all of them, like, you know, in all the same store. It's crazy. So I've been collecting them. What else? Um, I've just been waiting for these new games to come out, been anticipating them, and uh, hopefully cover them. We're going to do some Battlefield Hardline. We're going to do, um, 
Oh, Life is Strange Episode 2 is out. I want to cover that a little bit. Um, I absolutely loved the first one. I went into the series knowing nothing about it. I mean, as I'm sure everybody did. And Life is Strange is really leading up to be one of my games of the year. I mean, it's an absolute, absolute awesome series. And it's very interesting. I'm interested in the story. I like the gameplay. I like the puzzles. The graphics are great. I got it on the Xbox One. So I cannot wait to see all, all... I think there's five altogether. Like the Telltale series does. Uh, that's another thing I'm doing too. I'm playing uh, Tales of the Borderlands. Um, yeah, there's there's so much episodic series. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the, the retail version of Resident Evil Revelations 2. And it has everything on the disc... Plus, I'm a Resident Evil collector, so it would be nice to have a hard copy of it as opposed to the digital. And then I want to, um, I, you know, because it's got all the extra episodes. I think it's got like two extra episodes, so you, you get more for your money. It's a little bit, it costs a little bit more. I think it's like $10 more or something like that. I've been rambling on here because I'm trying to build the stream up a little bit because the game has been out for a few days now. But um, it's pretty busy on stream here. I do got quite a few people on here. So that's cool. I'm glad that you guys are joining me. I'm glad that you uh, decided to watch my playthrough and gameplay of the game. And um, I have a lot of people in here saying that they actually waited for to, to see my playthrough of this game without checking anybody else's out. That's that's awesome. That's a huge, huge compliment. Uh, I'm highly, highly grateful of that. That that just makes me amazed. I'm speechless. You know, sometimes when I read my, there's a lot of haters and a lot of negativity that comes with social media. That's to be expected. But the good outweighs the bad, that's for sure. I think I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. We're gonna jump right into this because I can't wait to jump into it. You are now tuned into Mary NJ08 with my Bloodborne PS4 exclusive coverage. We are jumping to the game in a few minutes. Thank you, everybody, and stand by for gameplay. Let's do this. Epic Death Counter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 